Welcome back to Development Dynamics with Maxi. This time around, you're featuring Sheila Masinde, Transparency International Kenya's Executive Director, and you are lucky to be hosted uh, by Ulwazi Place, located at uh, Kitusuru. Please come check them out. They have lovely amenities and facilities for your conferencing, for your accommodation as well, for you and your family. Uh, we reached at the place where you are becoming um, you know, transitioning from head of mm. programs into, into you know, the executive director mm. and you've been prepared significantly for that journey mm. your boss has been telling you and uh, dropping the seed for you. Uh, you know, this is your office, this is your office, the yeah. corner office is yours. Yeah. Uh, uh, I just want to check also in your, in your personal life, um, you, you had gotten married. How is that? Are, are, yeah. you, are you beginning your family at the yeah. time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yes, at, at all at, at that time, because mm -hmm. uh, when I, I told you when I returned to Transparency International Kenya, mm -hmm. I had been married mm -hmm. in about two years. Sure. But no, no, I didn't have children yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in fact, at some point, I didn't think I'd ever have children. <laughs> and we said the work at TA must be very stressful because, yeah. I, yes, yeah. yeah, so it took a while to, to get a child. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2017 is when I had my first child. Right. My, my, my first and only son mm. for now. Mm. We call them what? Sometimes I hear them being called temporary last bones. First, <laughs> only child are temporary last bones. Yeah. <laughs> God yeah. allows. Yeah. Um, but uh, so I got my baby in 2017. Mm -hmm. But it was also quite, uh, again, an mm. election year. Mm -hmm. It was an election year. So the whole period when I was expecting 2016, mm. very turbulent in terms of mm -hmm. the governance field because mm we're going to have another yeah very contested heated election mm. and then at that point my director as i told you had started dropping hints like hey mm. you know i'm not always gonna be here mm. and at that point for honestly i i, I was just saying yeah i just want to focus on my on my uh, on my Pregnancy. becoming a mother because mm, mm. <laughs> uh, at that point he 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 had mentioned that Actually, he, he, he was interviewed for an IEBC job, mm -hmm. the commissioner job, mm -hmm. and he went very far. He, mm -hmm. he actually did well, and his name was submitted to State House. Mm -hmm. So we all knew it was just a matter of time mm -hmm. before he was going to be confirmed into that role. Mm -hmm. And then he'd have to leave TI, mm -hmm. and then what happens to TI? Mm -hmm. It would be a transition. Mm -hmm. I, to be honest, at that time, my mind was not ready for a transition mm -hmm. as much as he had said. Mm -hmm. um, he, he said that I believe we, we had a strong management team, mm -hmm. not just myself, but there were, there were others, and mm -hmm. he believed that the management team that would be left behind would be strong enough to carry on with TI. Mm -hmm. Me, at that point, me, I was thinking about just becoming a mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I couldn't even hear this story. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't feel so prepared at that time, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel prepared. Mm -hmm. um, and I just prayed to God, and I said, well, if it is your will that he moves on mm -hmm. to this other, you know, bigger, much bigger, mm -hmm. I mean, IBC and he was going to be overseeing election management mm -hmm. for a very contested election mm -hmm. you know 2017 and god knows what happens after that mm -hmm. i said if it's your it's your will that he that's his next step mm -hmm. so be it mm -hmm. but uh, please pray for us and mm -hmm. just guide us because mm -hmm. i don't know whether we are ready for mm -hmm. it but he was convinced because mm -hmm. he's the one who had mm -hmm. groomed us into management mm -hmm. the whole management team that was there mm -hmm. and he knew each of us and our capabilities mm -hmm. and he said I'm sure he mm -hmm. didn't say certainly that no, it's going to be Sheila, it's mm -hmm. going to be who, it's going mm -hmm. to be who. Mm -hmm. But he said, as you guys as a team, I mm -hmm. think you're prepared for mm -hmm. the next step of TI mm -hmm. without me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't believe it and I told him, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was quite a difficult, I remember that December when we were waiting for the names to come out of State House, mm -hmm. very shaky because I'm like, oh my, mm -hmm. do I focus on becoming a mother? Mm -hmm. Do I focus on the transition that is awaiting TI? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. um, but then he didn't, uh, his name was not you know um Select. it was yeah well he was not he was not appointed mm. then and so he remained in ti mm -hmm. but then he continued now just saying you mm. guys have to be ready mm. you have to be ready and he continued grooming us for mm. not just me mm. but even the other managers mm -hmm. in terms of you know the executive roles mm. so there are many things that he 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 he, he, he just would delegate to mm. us mm. you know and so slowly by slowly i grew in the confidence mm. because i at some point i would tell him no i can't do this one I can't go for this meeting or I can't go for this press conference mm. or I can't speak on this or mm. I can't attend this conference mm -hmm. and then slowly you you actually find yourself doing it mm. so every other day there's a, there's something he's asking you to mm. do mm. and so, so I didn't notice it mm. but within two 
even less than a year, mm. especially after I'd come back from my maternity leave, because mm. of course I went for maternity leave, mm. gave birth. Mm. And then of course, as a new mother, your mm. focus is on, yeah, exclusive breastfeeding, what so. Mm. 2017 was really about, yes, there was an election happening, so there was a lot of multitasking that I had to do. Mm-hmm. There's, of course, this this uh, big, you know, big, big, big thing happening in Kenya, the electron process. Yeah. But there's also for me, mm. Um, a becoming thing. a mother, and yeah. you know, as a first time mother, yeah. even as they always say, it doesn't matter how old I was 36 then, yeah. I was 36 going to 37. Yeah. First time mother, yeah. even as no matter how old you are, yeah. the experience is still You're the still same. A yes, there's never yeah. much that you know about babies, and yeah. all it's very unpredictable. Mm. You know, long nights, what? Mm. So, your mm. focus is split. There's work, mm. there's elections. Mm. But at home, there's also now this mm. baby who needs you. Mm. Life depends literally on you. Mm. So I had to balance, mm. but I, I slowly get got back into that whole regiment of, of mm. work. Mm. And of course, as I said, he continued to mm. delegate to each of us mm. things. Do this, do mm. this, take mm. up this, make this decision, mm. you know. So before I knew it, I actually realized that when he started now speaking and saying, you know, one day when you're in that office and it became, I was like, yeah, actually, I think I can do it because he had taken us through different roles and I think that's the whole thing about when you're in a leadership position mm. empower others mm. empower others give them the space to also grow and do things mm. you know you don't have to be the one I, I and I believe that's my the same leadership style I have I'm not mm. this can I call, call it all all mm. in one leader where mm. I'm the one who will speak yeah. I'm the one who will attend all the meetings yeah. I'm the one who will do this no mm. I don't believe in that mm. and, and I always tell my colleagues you know you're mm. the experts mm. for me I'm just here to mm create an enabling environment for you. Mm, mm. So that meeting, you're the one who will go. You're mm. the one who will speak. Mm. You know? Mm. Me, I'm just coming for... Like, sometimes I just joke. Me, mm. I'm just coming for PR. Mm, yeah. <laughs> mm. You know? But you're the one who will mm. speak and say that. You know, you so that you also create a platform for them mm. to grow. Because otherwise then you find that you're not really succession. You're planning, mm. you know, for your own succession. Mm. If you don't give them the space. Because right. I believe that that's the space I was given mm. all through, mm. all through my life mm. in TI. Mm. And that's why I think I loved TI. Mm. Because it it was a very, it, an, it was, it it is, and I believe it still is, mm. even in my leadership, mm. an enabling environment mm. where you get the opportunity to do things. In some institutions, you'll find that it is only the boss, ah, that mm. one is only the boss who can mm. do that. Mm. It is only, the, maybe even the board chair. Because mm. I also appreciate that even, it's not just my, 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 my then boss, but even now, even it's my own board, mm. you know, they give you, they empower you, mm. you know, I'm the spokesperson of the institution. Mm. It could easily be, mm. you know, the board chair. Mm. But they decided that, yo, you're the day to the person mm. we will speak on these issues mm. we will support you from the top yeah. from you know from the sidelines mm. from behind mm. but when it comes to being the spokesman you're the spokesperson mm. so i also get a lot of empowerment also from my board and mm. you know once the board or the people above you give you that confidence mm. and you know that yes mm. you're, you're, you're the people working with you right and empowering you and when you're there mm. you're representing the views of you know it's not just about my views ashina mm. but the mm. views of the institution which has mm. been backed by the board and all this. So I, I like that enabling environment within TI mm. that has been created by, of course, there's a board mm. and then, yeah, even the management and mm. even my own staff also mm. create that. It's, it's not just you as a leader, but also the team itself, which also creates mm. that enabling environment, that positive culture right. that allows people to grow. Mm. And I think I look back at TI and see where people are, mm. you know, of course, as being, being, the, uh, being in this sector, mm. you will see that there's always a lot of transition mm. People come and go, especially and we, we, it's also a sector where you find a lot of young people. Mm. Young people are looking for the next big thing. Mm. But I think when I look back, I see a lot of people in TI that have landed in, in good position. And it's also a joy for us. Sometimes yeah. you're sad to see them go. Yeah. But then it's also, you know, an opportunity. They're creating links. They're championing anti-corruption issues mm. elsewhere. And they're doing bigger things. It also means that while they're there, mm. it means that they were able to grow. Mm. You know, so, so I think that's what I've liked about the enabling mm. environment around TI mm. and it's it's put it's it's um the, the strength it has in terms of building and mm. grooming leaders because right. I believe I've been a strong beneficiary of that you know just joining as a program officer yeah becoming a manager mm. then head of programs mm. and then mm. executive director mm. that's that's a remarkable journey yeah because um and and and, and not just joining as a program officer earlier on been having been there you know and having been there and left and coming yeah. back yeah. you know being re- 
been sort of like recalled. And, and there are many of us actually, I'm not the only one who, who left and who went. Left and, came and maybe back. that speaks to something around TI. Yeah. Because for me, I miss the culture. I like the mm. culture of TI. Mm. Yes, it's a workplace, but mm. it's also you're doing something, everyone is making it enjoyable. Mm. Mm. But the enabling environment, mm. I, I knew that this, if I wanted to grow mm. intellectually, mm. you know, uh, mm. and, and develop myself, that mm. this was a place to be. Mm. And even just the, the prospects of mm. growing into leadership, mm. I knew TI was the place to mm. be. Um, but there are many others who also left mm. and have come back. Left, come back, what, you know? What's the secret? What's the culture? What? I guess sometimes you go out there, you think that the grass is green out there. Mm -hmm. But when you get there, it's actually, no. You mm -hmm. realize that mm -hmm. that place where I was was actually mm -hmm. a better. And even just the issues, I think it's also just the passion, you know, the, the passion it creates in mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the governance mm -hmm. issue, you know, it, it determines a lot in life. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of the quality of life for Kenyans and mm -hmm. what. And you, you realize that you can actually, you, you're, doing, you're doing so much in terms of developing mm -hmm. your country. Mm -hmm you know mm. by fighting corruption mm. you're ensuring that you're, you're fighting and mm. ensuring that resources that are supposed to make a difference in people's lives are mm. being fenced mm. you know so i think for if you're a public spirited person mm. i believe i am mm. and and for me that's why i felt that first of all this sector the civil society mm. governance sector was mm. a place for me to be mm. because i'm so passionate about how yeah. you know resources are made decisions mm. are made mm. and is it for the public interest mm. so i think there are many people like me mm. and maybe that's why they've gone out mm. and, then, come and, then, and then come back mm. and and maybe mm. with even more experience mm. and what but mm. they want to come back and, and back. make make even a bigger difference in the fight yeah. against corruption yeah yeah and that's incredible now speaking about the organization itself mm. And then now your new role as as executive uh, uh, ex executive director. The one of the huge things, one of the key things about the role of an executive director, obviously, is to ensure the growth, the sustainability, the culture of an organization is you know is 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 mm. is at a steady rise. Yeah. Um, so want us to want us to dwell a little on that mm. and then also dwell a little on the external mm. so first internally how have you now mm. um wh when did you formally formally become executive director in june 2000 and in june 2020 in june 2020 yeah also in the midst of the pandemic yeah and yeah so, so in the, yes yes oh dear right in the midst of the pandemic mm.